Hello, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel uh, and thank you for those that are returning. Um, this reading is going to be a general reading for you for the month of July 2022. But as always, remember time is fluid, so whenever you are called to this reading, there is probably a message from Spirit in it. So without further ado, Leo, let us get started. Please remember that this may not resonate with all of you, so just take what flows to you and let the rest go. All right, Leo almost coming into your season very soon all right spirit oh deck is super ready let's see what's going on for you guys out there i hope you're doing really well let us begin okay for leo the fire sign what messages guidance do you have for leo Okay, I think these want to come out. Wow, that's beautiful to start with. Top of the deck is a Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, Four of Swords. Okay, so Leo, you're healing from something. You may be in this um, energy at this very moment, or this could even be a little bit in the past. Um, but the Four of Swords is the energy where, you know, you've been exhausted, you've been tired, you've perhaps have um, experienced some kind of let down a bit of maybe even a heartbreak here because the four of swords uh, is always that energy of rest and recuperation after a painful situation but it is followed up with the six of swords and the nine of cups which is absolutely gorgeous so let us continue and then we'll dive into your reading leo all right leo leo Feels like your wishes are coming true. So whatever you've been focusing on and wishing for, they are going to be showing up in your life. You are moving away from stuff that wasn't very healthy, perhaps was not easy to get through with the Six of Swords. Okay, thank you. We've got the Hangman, Five of Wands. So like it goes this way. I'll get you one more card. For Leo, show me clearly, Spirit. Okay, and the sun. Your card has just popped up. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so Leo, um, I will get some clarifiers on here, but at the very opening, it's like Four of Swords followed by the Five of Wands. This could be, as far as your work, it could be about love as well. Place it where it might fit. We're all on different journeys here. But it feels like you have been, um, you know, as I said, you've needed to take a little bit of a time out here with the Four of Swords. There's something that has happened or is about to happen um, that has left you a bit depleted, worn out, tired, even physically tired here. Uh, and you're having to kind of separate yourself from the person, the situation, even if it's just mentally, you know, even because swords is our mental energy. It is all about our communication and the words that we speak to others and to ourselves. So it is feeling very much um, like there's been something that has happened and it has probably worn you down a bit and you're really needing to even separate just mentally from the situation or the issue. Um, with the Five of Wands underneath the Four of Swords, it is really saying that there has been conflict. Now, Leo, this could be conflict within yourself. Um, perhaps you've been unsure of something with the Two of Pentacles being on the bottom of the deck as the overall influence. Um, you may have been juggling juggling something. You maybe even have been juggling a few different ideas. Uh, this could be even about your career, like which way you want to go, but you're not sure how or what direction you want to take. So you've been continually juggling something here. This card is all about keeping things in the air, but after a while, you really do got to make a decisive decision on which which way you're going to go. Um, because you can't keep juggling things forever. You know, no matter how much we try, that becomes very exhausting. So there's definitely a need for you to be making some kind of choice. Um, so let's get back to the Five of Wands. It's like Five of Wands is combative energy. There's drama here. There's, um, it could even be just the energy if this is about a relationship. It could even be about, uh, you know, no one's listening to, to each other. Um, it's like they're, everyone's fighting. There's drama, there's up uprise even. And it's really taken a toll on you. 
you know, for some of you, this could be even family related. I'm really getting this feeling of arguments in a family, um, stress in a family where no one's really listening to each other. Maybe everyone's thinking that they're correct and right. And it's caused a lot of pain. You know, Leo, you are a uh, beautiful energy. You are that that energy that is ruled by the beautiful sun and you are loving and expansive and you're very giving as well so but you can be stubborn and uh, that is a beautiful quality too right um, to be able to hold your ground when you believe in something I would suggest here uh, that there may be a need for you to perhaps see things from a different person's view um, because we have the hangman next to it and the hangman is that energy where you almost have to take yourself out of the game, out of the situation, and allow yourself to get some clarity so that you can see things from a different per perspective. The hangman isn't actually taking action here. They are just taking a time out and really assessing things, um, using the inner wisdom to assess what is gonna be the best way to move ahead. So I do feel spirit is wanting you to actually look at everything from all different kinds of perspective, people's from their different perspective different perspective if there's other people involved here um for some of you this could just be a battle that is going on within you and it is wearing you out something that might be going round and round and round in your head and um you know you haven't been able to see a way out of it or you haven't been able to release guilt or um uh, even uh, you know even resentment for some of you you know there might have been something done to you in the past that you're really still holding on to even though you're trying to emotionally cut off from it it's still keeping a struggle going on within yourself i mean we have the five of wands that is your element it is fire okay so then we move to the six of swords so i do feel somewhere along the month of july you are going to be making some decision that is going to help you get a lot clearer in your mind leo um and it is going to free you up from this the pain in your heart, the pain in your mind, the struggle that is going on within you or with others. Because Six of Swords is absolutely that energy, it's a positive energy. Because it's like you are now deciding to leave behind how things have been. People, things, situations, feelings, thoughts, etc. And you are agreeing within yourself to acknowledge that it is no longer serving you in any way you cannot learn any more from it it has been a painful journey and you need to move forward in a way where you can start to feel lighter in yourself and within yourself and I do feel like when you're making this decision it is going to let you see things from a different perspective in fact I actually feel like it's gonna give you life again Leo because this reading so far at right now it is feeling like this has been causing inner stress within you for sure but the beautiful thing that happens here, it's almost like when you let go, like if you let go and you look at this card, Six of Swords, you see she's she's not necessarily waving, but in a way it's almost like, um, it's almost like her scarf is waving goodbye. You know, it almost looks like that. It appears to be that kind of um, visual, but the energy is like almost like she's like turned, she's looking saying, okay, this is enough. I'm done now. I'm ready to move forward in a different direction. Um, and making that conscious decision takes you to a beautiful place Leo where it's like the things that you have been wanting to have in your life actually begin to come true nine of cups right this is that wish fulfillment card in your emotions and it can be in all aspects of your life um, although it's not Pentacles there is a treasure chest in this deck which is the light seers deck specifically that is full of gold and coins and riches so I feel internally especially here when you make this decision to leave this hurt pain um, people behind or even not even leaving them behind but letting go of the oh, you know that energy that just kind of makes you feel not good within yourself when you let go of that and you forgive you forgive others you forgive yourself um, and you really make a determined decision to focus on positivity things and allow love and happiness to, and joy to come in your life, that is exactly what you get. Underneath the Nine of Cups is the sun, your card. And this is a beautiful card. Look at the energy that pops off this card, all the colors. It's like the colors of the rainbow. And this is that card of joy and happiness 
freedom, free from past hurts, free from past disappointments, and actually opening yourself up to receive more light, to receive more joy. So it's it's like there's this decision you got to make, and I'm not sure what it is about. We'll pull some clarifiers, but it's like if you have been hemming and hawing and you know that it's not good for you to stay in this situation or even in this mindset, um, it seems, Leo, you are going to be turning the page and you are actually going to be making that decision to release all the pain, the toxicity, all that stuff that I feel like you've been carrying um, for some of you probably for a long time. Uh, we do have the Ten of Cups that was under the Two of Pentacles. So this is definitely, for some of you, about a family situation. Could be someone that you've been married with with children. It also could be about, you you know, your family, like your parents and siblings and grandparents, etc. Right? Uh, Ten of Cups is that happy home, happy family. But in this reading, it's feeling like this is, there's some past stuff that have to, have to either be completely let go and perhaps you actually have to discuss it, bring it out so that you can once and for all let it completely go. Okay, let's continue, Spirit. Let's get a card on the Four of Wands and the Five of, oh, sorry, the five, Four of Swords and the Five of Wands for Leo. Big changes coming in. Big shift within you, Leo. I feel like you you're tired of feeling this way. You're tired of feeling this way and you're tired of, of carrying that energy and you are really making this focused effort to release it. And where I stopped shuffling, five of cups. So a lot of sadness associated with this, a lot of disappointment, a lot of hurt. But it's like you're really actually making this concerted effort to release that now so that you can actually really be free and enjoy your life without the baggage of the past the hermit. Okay, so I'm picking up off of this card, clarifying the four of swords and the five of wands. Um, you know, it's like you have isolated yourself. The hermit is about going within and taking that time out for yourself so that you can get inner enlightenment and clarity of what way to go, you know, really digging deep within your soul to get the answers that you're needing. I'm feeling also though with this card for this reading, you have felt alone. Um, this is a very isolated feeling with the Four of Swords and the Five of Wands. So if this is the pain of the past, if this is what has happening happened to you in the past, or even like right now, Leo, you might be going through this. Perhaps people aren't listening to you. People aren't hearing you. They're not acknowledging your pain or your hurt um, or you know things maybe where they've let you down I mean the five of wands is like I said it's combated but it also is one where no one's hearing each other and they're kind of trying to get to the top no matter who it hurts um, no matter who gets knocked down in the process um, if that is the case I really feel like you are coming to terms with it and you are understanding within yourself that you don't want to stay there anymore and that you don't need to stay there anymore and that it is up to you actually to release all of this so that you can be free of it once and for all and so that you can actually open your uh, heart up to all these wonderful gifts that are existing in this life that will come towards you okay let us get a outcome card please i mean it is absolutely beautiful with the nine of cups in the sun perhaps by your birthday you know perhaps by august ooh, Okay, judgment and the world just dropped and we have the five of cups again on the bottom okay so Leo this might not be the easiest thing to get through I mean if you have been um, in the past wherever this fits in your your time life um, if, if people have really disappointed you uh, and have let you down and have failed you it just really feels like it is, it's a long, I feel like this is a long standing hurt, you know? And for some of you, this could even be friends or so-called friends that let you down and really disappointed you and ignored you, made you feel left out, cut you off even, you know, cut you off in the way where it really hurt your heart. And maybe they fought with you a lot about certain things. Maybe they thought their way was the right way, your way was the wrong way, you know, something like that. Um, like I said, we're all on different paths, so it's gonna relate a little bit differently, but energy still remains the same. A lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment, 
Five of Cups is that energy where you put a lot of in a lot of emotion, love into someone or something, and it turns out to be a big disappointment. And it's kind of hard to handle and hard to let go of that disappointment. But you are making the change. And what I love is, is you got two major arcana that came out here, the world and judgment. It's like the world is showing up here to let you know that this cycle can be closed out. You have the power, you have the key to close out this past hurt. If there's something you need to discuss to get off your chest once and for all, I would suggest you do that so that you can heal. You can forgive people, but you don't have to ever forget either, right? But forgiveness is more for ourselves. Although sometimes it doesn't feel that way, it is about releasing, releasing these people, releasing these issues, these hurts, um, so that you can move forward. The wheel is definitely showing up to say that if, it, if you want this, you can close this whole cycle out so you can begin another one. It's a beautiful card to show up in this reading and followed by a powerful card, the judgment. Judgment and showing up. So again, letting you know that you're divinely protected, you're being supported, and um, you're rising out of the ashes, out of the pain, out of the disappointment, out of the neglect even for some of you. Um, you know, even the being shut out by one or more people because they didn't agree with you or agree with the way you were doing things. This is a card of forgiveness as well. And in order to forgive, you know, we have to make a mindful decision to release that because when we hold on to the hurt it only hurts us it doesn't hurt the other person that's involved they don't even know it right they don't even know that they're, they're not even aware that they've done that damage to you so it actually hurts you more than anyone else to keep holding on to that i really feel spirit is wanting you uh, during this time leo to release it and when you do that you're going to see life from a completely different viewpoint very much. The hangman is looking at the sun. And the sun, as I said, is one of the most beautiful, powerful cards in the entire tarot because it's glorious. It's glory. It's freedom. It's the release of the past. It's the release of feeling really, you know, horrible. Um, and it is abundance. It is abundance as well. So I really feel like this is what you are needing to do this month so that your life can take a different path and you can move forward. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there, Leo. It looks beautiful. Like I said, this is gonna be a powerful month for you. And what a time to really release everything that no longer is good for you before you go into your birthday season. You know, when it, next month in August, well, end of July, <coughs> for some of you, this is your new birthday. Like it's your new solar year. It wasn't January. It is going to be when your birthday is. You know, I think it's, geez, is it July 21st? I think when the sun goes into you, into your sign. <coughs> Release it so that you don't carry it forward anymore. And so that you can be free once and for all from all of this. Okay, let me get you a pearl of wisdom to close this reading out for Leo. All right, beautiful reading, Leo. Let yourself heal from this past, from all the past, you know? One card for Leo, please, Spirit. Show me clearly. Laugh at life. Oh, I like that. That's really beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting very <clears throat> kind of plugged up in my head right now. Laugh at life, and it is a seal. And that's what I, it, 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 it's like you're not really kind of l having fun and laughing here because there's just a lot of low vibing energy that has to be released so that you can actually celebrate. Um, and they want me to show you this, the nine of cups and the sun. Look at the posture of both of these figures that are on here. They're both leaping. They're both raising their hands in the air. You know, they're both in very similar kind of energy. It's a celebratory energy because you're finally free. You're finally free to go after what you really want and love and that will, will lead you to fulfillment here, Leo. So again, very strong message coming through. And so it says, laugh at life. And if we think about seals, they play all the time, you know? They're always frolicking in the water and on the docks and on the shores and the, you know? So remember to have fun. It says, 
It's time to play and have fun, laugh and watch the universe join in. The seal has a natural affinity with the sea moving through it effortlessly. Do the same with life. Affirmation is, I am enjoying life. And I do believe that you will be enjoying your life, Leo, once you're able to really disconnect and let go of this past. Bottom of the deck is future knowledge. Wow, all about your wisdom. Two beautiful owls sitting here. And it says, your spiritual awareness is increasing and you are guided to ground yourself. When the timing is right, events will happen. Wait, observe, listen, and be patient. So, you know, that is all about that hangman position. Taking that time out to really get the clarity you're needing so that you know what you need to release and how to move forward. Gorgeous reading, beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Leo. Thank you so much for being here, and we will see you next time.